Hi, this is Ben with racegraphics.com and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uploading sponsor logos and artwork directly into the website to use on the designer. And first off I'll talk a little bit about what how we reproduce graphics you load into the website. So our online designer accepts uh, standard image files, JPEG, GIF, and PNG files and it also accepts vector-based files, EPS, AI, and PDF files. The last three are better because they're vector-based and generally if they're created vector we can scale them to whatever size we don't have quality loss and we can normally make it whatever size you need you know anything from a small window decal up to something you could put on your trailer or your vehicle. So keep that in mind if you work with sponsors and they just give you a really low quality JPEG or a very pixelated image, you know, if you open it on your computer and it doesn't look very good on your computer, it's going to look even worse when we print it out and put it on your car. And we really hate to see people send stuff like that in because it just doesn't look good and, you know, our equipment's capable of printing really nice stuff. So you've got to send us good artwork to get a nice print back out. So unfortunately, if you send us bad artwork or pixelated artwork and we print it and you get it and you aren't happy with it you know, we really can't do anything for you because we try and tell you right off the bat that if you need us to look at your artwork we can but we will not we won't proactively check your artwork you know because what may look okay to you might not look okay to us and you know we've taken the stance that you need to ask us to check your artwork if there's any question about it being good or not. So all you have to do is ask. It doesn't cost anything. We'll look at it. We'll, we'll give you our opinion on it. And we'll even give you a price to convert it if we think we can convert it to a vector format so it'll be nice and high quality. So with that being said, we're, we're on the Hornet model here. Uh, no particular reason. The artwork is uploaded exactly the same on the entire website. So. Uh, basically, you can upload onto the model on any any page. So we've got several views here that we can upload on. But let's go to the hood, and we're talking about the upload logo feature here. So we're going to click in there, and it gives you a brief description about what what kind of file types you can upload. They need to be under 10 megs, uh, vector based, like I said. Um, really rather not produce anything with vulgar obscenity you know standard stuff here um, and also you know you're gonna be doing you might be doing copyrighted stuff so you know you need to get permission from your sponsor before you just send us something to reproduce in general we're not going to seek out and require you to prove it to us that you have permission but in most cases you'll have permission but you know if it's something blatantly obvious we know we can't reproduce we're probably gonna ask you about it and we might ask you to show us some proof that you can actually have us print it so in general that's not gonna be an issue so let's hit select files here and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab the racegraphics.com logo I've got on my desktop here and this is an AI file so it's in vector and what the site just did there, it uploaded it and then it converted it into a preview so we can use on the designer. So you can see here that this image is transparent so the background on this little preview box shows through and generally that's what you want. You want the background to show through whatever you're designing. I don't want a white box around this when it's reproduced. So if it doesn't look right here, it's not going to be right when you get it. So if you were to send us something like this, we'd try and cut around it and we try and produce it like you intended. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done and it drops it there on the top left for us and you can just stretch it whatever size you need. It's going to keep it in proportion for you so it's not stretched but you can see we got a nice high resolution image here and I'm going to click done and it puts it right on the top of the car for us. Now the other neat thing we can do here, you know, now now that you've uploaded this, you can go to the design library and there's no need to upload it again. You know, you can use it on however many parts of the car that you want and you don't have to keep uploading it. So we're just going to make this the racegraphics.com 
Hornet. Okay. So real easy to do. You know, we just loaded one thing in here and we just got it. We can use it wherever we want. So if you hit continue, it's going to build our proofs here. So you can see it's in several places. And if I click purchase, since we used the design library, the site knows that you you've just uploaded one file. There's no reason to show you three different ones here. So it says you've got the same thing on the hood, the roof, and the left side. And here's the sizes. So you can you could change the quantity here if you wanted more than one, or you could just hit add to cart, or you could come up here and you could just hit add selected to cart, and it'll add just that to the cart as you need it. And like I said, we're going to do our best to reproduce what you see here. The checkered box represents transparency. So we're going to try and cut it around the whole edge. And if there's an issue with doing it like that, we're going to let you know. We're going to email you and tell you, hey, we can't do it like this, but we can do it a different way. And we'll send you a preview. So generally, we're not going to just reproduce something different than what you see right here. We're going to try and make it match that as best we can. Okay, so let's let's go to a different model here. I want to demonstrate some other things that could happen when you upload something. Uh, we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the mini stock. So here's the mini stock model. And let's just do the same thing again. But instead of uploading an AI, we're going to upload a PNG file. Normally that'd be fine. Okay? And that doesn't look that bad right there to me. That that looks okay. Uh, but now we have this warning. Please see image quality alert below. So basically we're just reminding you that we print all uploaded files as is unless you choose the logo recreation service. That basically means you're going to need to email us and say, you know, is my file okay to print? Um, we're going to tell you that warning on any JPEG, GIF, or PNG you upload regardless of how good it is. We're just going to tell you that right off the bat because that might or might not be good. So we can dismiss that. We can hit done. That's fine. So this this logo doesn't look too bad, but there I just scaled it up. I scaled it up to the side of the car. And you can see already that there's pixelation in here. See the pixels showing right here? I can see them around the letters. So that's that's a real bad sign because like the last logo we uploaded, you know, it looked good even on the side of the car already. Um, and really when you think about it, you're really looking at a couple inches preview on your computer screen. This is really only a few inches. Imagine if this logo was two feet tall and four feet wide, which is, you know, we're looking at uh, 91 inches right here. So really there's no way that we're going to be able to print this and make it look any good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done and continue and purchase. And if you look here, there's a warning. We determined this graphic may appear pixelated when blown up to the size you specified. We may be able to convert it to a high quality vector logo for you. Please email us this file for a quote. So we're just telling you, you know, we may or may not be able to determine that on the site, but most of the time we'll be able to tell that, you know, this isn't something that is going to look good. So we're going to take our best try and tell you right off the bat if it's any good or not. But it's still on you to check with us if you have any doubt at all okay so and the last thing I want to show is that if you upload a JPEG you've got to be really careful here because most of the time you're not gonna want to load a JPEG because JPEG does not support transparency so if I want to load a JPEG on this side of the car Since JPEG doesn't support transparency, I have a white box around this logo now. Now again, if you send us this logo and you want us to print it, we can't magically take out the white behind it. Now there's some ways that we can try and get it out of there, but it's going to require us photoshopping it and extracting that color out and then making a cut line and 
it's just not something that we we do easily um, so there's gonna have to be an additional charge for that so what I would suggest is that you use a PNG file before you use a JPEG if you want if you don't want this white area because if I were to order this as you see it you're gonna have white in what you take out of the box you're gonna see a white it's gonna be a rectangular white decal which you probably don't want so be sure to keep that in mind when you upload the file so that pretty much concludes the tutorial on using the logo uploading feature on racegraphics.com if you have any questions at all email us or try out our live chat feature it's contact at racegraphics.com we'll be happy to help you and answer any questions you might have about using the online designer thanks